Hello everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, I will be focusing upon the Zotero, that is reference management software. Uh, there are many reference management softwares, but this video will be focusing upon Zotero and the two methods which can be used to store references. One is through the plugin, Chrome plugin, and the other is without using the Chrome plugin, and that ap applies mostly for the research articles. First of all, what is a reference managing software? When you are creating a document with references like your projects, your thesis, your reports, at the end you do insert some references. So these references can be managed with the help of certain softwares and top three softwares in the market available are Zotero, Mendeley and EndNote. EndNote is, for, uh, is offered by Microsoft, Mendeley is by Elsevier Journals and Zotero is an open source uh, reference managing software. Uh, in my opinion, Zotero is more user friendly. So this tutorial is basically based upon how to use Zotero. So first step is you download and install Zotero software from where and download and install Zotero uh, Google plugin from the website zotero.org and you can see from here. This is zotero.org from here you can click on this downloads button. You can click on this button over here downloads and uh, when you click on the button download you come to this website where you can download the uh, Windows version or Mac version whichever you are using or Linux version and then you can download the Chrome connector over here this is my Chrome connector for Zotero as you can see over here it is giving me the option of CSP Zotero so you just download and install these two softwares okay once you have done that once you have done that what do you do you open Zotero software and minimize it do not close the software just minimize it okay and this is what the Zotero software looks like as you can see over here there are many many uh, folders over here so what do you do you just click on my library and new collection and you give a name of sample 001 for example and then this folder sample 001 is created and you just select it once you have selected it just minimize the Zotero so that it is running in the background okay that's it now let's go to the method number one where you search any article on Google Chrome right so I search an article let's say uh, testing uh, or let's just say UML diagram so we have many references of UML diagram over here what do I do I just click on any one of the link for example this one I clicked on the link and uh, if I find the material over here useful and I am using it in my report and I have to give reference to this website what do I need to do just click over here save to Zotero I click this button and it is done I, uh, I can show you from here you can see over here this is done it shows the link and all the information okay so let's uh, add some other uh, type of articles also like I go to scholar.google.com to for the research articles for example and over there I say UML and there are many many articles over here so I just want to uh, click on this one and this reference page is available and I want to cite it I, I, I like something about it which I am using it as a reference I want to cite it what do I do I click on save to Zotero I click that button 
and you see over here again that it is saved over here all the information about the article is saved over here okay so let's look at let's just say uh, i want to take another example of another article so i will be looking at let's say this one this is an from science direct okay and i just press on save to zotero button and you can see over here systematic review of uml consistency management and it is all, all the information of the abstract the publication the pages and everything is now over here okay so once this much is done what's next I have the open the article, we have clicked on Zotero. Now we need to do what? Citing. So for citing purposes, we just need to open Microsoft Word. So once you installed it, you do get the Zotero tab installed in your uh, document. So I will just write over here. Let's first uh, make some the font bigger so that everyone can see it let's make it aerial okay the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog right and suppose now i want to put some references just for the sake of uh, experiment purposes so i click over here go to the zotero and add edit citation so since I'm doing it the first time, it will ask you which style of referencing do you want to use? Do you want to use American Chemistry Society or American Political Society Association or American Psychological Association, APA, commonly known as APA. So for the sake of the video, I'll just choose IEEE version, the IEEE style of referencing and I press OK. Right. And then. I, if I don't remember the name, I just click on classic view over here and you can see from the sample 001, I can choose this one and press OK. This is citation number one. Suppose I want to add another one, add citation. If I don't know the name, I just click view, uh, click classic view and then click on this one and OK. Let's say I want to place another one over here and I do know the name. What do I do? I write UML. So it shows me all of the UML types which are already in my library. It does get a little confusing sometimes. So if you know the name exactly, then you can just write it over here and select it. Otherwise, the easiest way is just click here, go to classic view so that you go to the reference, uh, to go to the particular folder and from there you select it and press OK. So now three citations have been done. And now what I want, I want to add the references okay add it bibliography i just clicked on this button and all the references are here so now let me just uh, tone down the font size coming back to 14 and you can see over here that these references have been placed in the IEEE format manner okay what about if i want to if i remember later that this comes over here and so on now the referencing numbering is out of order what do i do i don't have to do anything i just need to refresh and it automatically sorts it according to because according to ieee the reference that comes first needs to be number one reference number one and the reference that comes later needs to be number two and so on so it automatically changes it and what if i don't want ieee style of reference i want let's say another type of reference now what do i do i just go to document preferences and change it for example i want to i want to display the references in apa style seventh edition i press ok and all of these references are now converted into apa style seventh edition as you can see right i want to change it again uh, let's say chicago style 17th edition i converted it into this now all my references have been is automatically converted so these reference managers help us to maintain the references for our journals for our projects for our research papers and so on right so this is 
how you can uh, use it by using method one what about method two method two is for the research articles only that is if you do not uh, want to use the chrome plugin then what do you do simple you just go to the website colon.google.com google.com and i press i write over here let's say social networking and i have many websites now i'm not going to use the uh, zotero plugin what do i do i click on here site i click site and then i click bibtex there are already given over here many formats but i click on bibtex when I click on Bibtex, I get the text in a particular format. I just copy all the format, copy. Then what? I go to Zotero. Make sure that I have clicked my concerned folder. And then file, import from clipboard. And what happens? All the referencing is already available over here. You just get all of this. Yes, the abstract is not copied but uh, you don't need abstract in your references all the required reference information is over here right so this is how you can uh, perform the zotero and add and then the remaining part by you can just write on the word and do the remaining things change the format type insert bibliography and so on right so that's it for this video thank you thank you very much